Hi Barbie friends and doll friends. Today we're going to be talking about the reproduction doll. Should you buy a reproduction doll? Should you not buy a reproduction doll? Should you? What? Hold on. Should we open our reproduction items? Should we not open our reproduction items? Well, I'm going to give you a little hint. This is one that I just bought and I'm going to open it. So stay with me and what? Okay. Skipper wants to tell you that she's going to be having a fashion show coming up real soon. And you what? And she wants a new dress. Now, Skipper, I don't know if I can afford a new dress. You know, those Skipper dresses can get pretty expensive. And you have a wardrobe. But she wants a new one. So which one would you think Skipper should have? What's your favorite Skipper outfit? Comment below. Let me know. And if I can afford it or I can find one, I'll get it. But, oh, uh, yeah, I know. Say goodbye, Skipper. I've got things to do. Bye-bye. So on a little more serious note, these are the dolls behind me here that I'm going to be discussing today and comparing my reproductions and my originals, some of the differences, what I like, what I don't like, what I open, what I why I'm not opening, just those sort of things. This one, my reproduction color magic, I'm going to open today and I can't wait to do that. So cheers, I'm drinking some wheat grass, something very healthy and I've never had this before. Have you had this before? It's supposed to be really healthy. So thumbs up and uh, we'll get started. That was terrible, oof, that was terrible. Okay, oh gosh, that was awful. So Julia, Julia, I have two Julia dolls. Can you, can you tell which one is the reproduction and which one is the original? Kind of hard to tell, huh? If it wasn't for the 50th anniversary up here, it might be a little hard to tell. If she was out of the box, I would really have to look closely to make sure they did a really great job with this doll. And she looks a lot like the original, but I'm sure she was out of the box and I could see her a little better. I could tell the feel and just the look of them. Once they're out of the box, you can see them so much better. But this is the reproduction. I got her a few years ago. She was made in 2008. At the time I couldn't afford, I couldn't find one and get in their shape. The dresses were dirty. The dolls had the missing eyelashes. So I'm like, I'm just going to go ahead and get the reproduction. And that's what I do. Usually when I can't find one in the condition I want or I can't afford it, I'll just go ahead and get the reproduction. And then, seems like once I get the reproduction, lo and behold, I'm able to find a good one. So this is the 1968 original Julia mint in the box. And this doll looks like it came out of the store yesterday. It's in such great condition. So the seller that sold this, um... I'm um, thankful to you because I, I can't believe someone actually sold this doll in this great condition. I guess they just didn't like dolls. But it represents, there was a TV show. I think it ran from 68 to like 71 called Julia. And this is by a lady named Diane Carroll was in it. And this was her little boy. She was a nurse. And I do remember watching the show as a kid. I don't remember what a lot of the plots were about. But it was a, it was a sitcom comedy. And uh, I think she was a widow in the show. So just her and her little boy and, and, and all the trials and tribulations that a, that a mother goes through trying to raise a kid alone in, in, in her love. I'm sure she had love interests in the, in the show. I don't remember a lot about it. But it was, it was a good show and it lasted a while. It was really popular. And um, this is, it had this little punch out card on the box where she says it has, I guess, in her signature, Julia Diane Carroll. So this is what Diane Carroll looked like. And this doll really is a good representation of her. I think it favors her. So they did a really good job. But I was so, so happy to get the 1968 version. And she will not be op getting opened. I'm not going to open this doll. Um, I want to keep it in this great condition along with my reproduction. Now recently, if you've watched some of my hauls, you'll see that I did acquire from someone. I didn't have to buy it on eBay and that's really good because if I don't get them on eBay, I can just get them up and look at them. 
tell if I like them or if there's something wrong with them. Sometimes people tend to admit some important facts on eBay. Get in this one had the red hair and I'm like, oh gosh, I want the red hair one. And I didn't want to buy it on eBay. And she also has on the Julia outfit, which goes with the talking Julia. So we'll be changing this out to a different, I have a different Julia outfit that I want to put on her. Just haven't done that yet, but um, that's my Julia. That's all the Julia dolls I got. And I got one, well, two outfits for Julia now that's specific for Julia. And they have a tag in them that says Julia. And she has several outfits that, that are for her. But we'll talk about those on a different video. Francie. So I have two reproduction Francies, and these are a little older than the than the Julie. I think it was 2008. These are 1996, I believe. So there's this Francie, and she came with the Gadabout outfit and a bathing suit. Now I have a lot of Francies. So for that reason, here's a, a, a pretty dark hair Francie. And the face is quite different on this Francie. It looks like Francie, but she just looks a little... I know her face looks a little fatter, a little puffier or something. I'm, I'm not sure what, what it is. Um, the place is a little shinier on her. But she's a cute one. And I won't open her because I do I do have a lot of Francies. And I do prefer my vintage dolls. But I still also like my reproduction dolls. I, don't think there's... I also have this Francie, which also was in 1996. Now... When I bought this Francie, there again, I'm like, I'm never going to pay or be able to get this doll for what they were going for. So I might as well just go ahead and, and, and get the reproduction. She's cute. And at least I'll have one. And I love the Wild Bunch. And I always wanted Wild Bunch. And Wild Bunch, here's a, you can see her in the host. There's a little camera in the boots. And I just loved that pink and orange coat. And the little cap, but her camera has fallen down in the box. But I was so happy I got this one. And then lo and behold, a couple of years later, I was able to get an original Francie. So I didn't buy it. It was a it was a present from 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 my honey John. So oh, thank you very much. And he bought it for me. I wouldn't have paid what he paid. But we still got it for a pretty good deal. I did not pay top price. Um, this was somebody that I had bought from several times before. So they gave me a little bit better deal, I think, if, you, if, you, um, if you're a re repeat buyer. And she's in excellent condition. But this one has the red hair. And there was two versions. And I do get them confused. One came out. I think this is the first version. Her hair oxidizes to this red. The second version, I think, keeps the original black hair color but love my vintage fancy love my reproduction fancy so my 50th anniversary 2008 red hair tnt barbie i got because again the red ha hair was was one that was really up there in price during the times that i was looking for one and I'm like, I might as well get this one. So that's what I did once again. And, and that seems to be, a, I'm finding the theme in my reproduction dolls. I get the ones that um, I couldn't afford at the time in the originals. And I like the reproductions because they're so nice and clean and pristine. And like this Zoko outfit right here, that's really hard to find be, that looks good because this silver rubs off what these are made out of. They're really beautiful and shiny, but but they don't hold up very well through time once they've been played with. So I'm like, I'll have a nice one in it. It's made by Mattel, so I didn't have a problem with that. And so I went ahead and got her because I really wanted the, the oxidized red hair one. And I got her, and then I guess a year or two later after I got her, I was able to find one that I could afford. So... She's in good condition. Um, I had to repaint her lips. I think I need to redo it again because I've been I'm a little better now than when I was when I did this. I probably I don't even like the coloring on them. So I'm going to change out her lipstick pretty soon. 
and she has does not have on a vintage dress but this was one of the little christmas pack dresses it's like on a card and it was i love i love things that's meant so i, I took this out the package and because i had these purple and i have anything else with purple on it so it goes really good with the vintage tea tea straps and it's a mini dress so i thought it looked cute on her and this is my original and can't believe i was able to find her but i did now i just had a thought i wonder i have not tried this i wonder if this box opens you know some boxes will the way this is made like a shoe box kind of top Oh my gosh, I think it's going to open. I have had this doll. <laughs> I've had this doll for years. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The top just slid right off. I, I, even tried that. I just got her and pretty much put her up on a shelf. Looked at her a little bit, put her up on a shelf and dust her off every once in a while. But I this is great. So if you have one of these, you can pull the top right off and there she is. So this is so much better than having one that you have to really tear the package in apart. So now I can see her up close. Oh, and I love the earrings. And you know what would be great? To put the earrings on her. Because you can't usually put the earrings on the old ones, you know, the green ear and all that. And I think you can if you do some special things, but I haven't ever done that. And the Zoco, oh, it's so slick and shiny. So I'm, I'm tempted to debox her, but not today. Got another doll plan for that today. But she looks so good. And I'm going to, oh, I have, I have my other doll here I was going to show you anyway. I have a reproduct, I mean, an original in the same outfit. Now, this is not the redhead. I have the redhead here, but she don't have on that outfit. The difference in the hair color is extreme. She's got a bright red, and this one's a is a deeper, a deeper red than one that oxidized. But the swimsuit, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on for this one. The swimsuit is a little different. The netting is um is a little different. It's like it's got smaller holes in it. It, it doesn't have holes in it. It's, it's just like, it's a complete, or this one does actually have little holes in between the netting. It, I, I think it has holes. It sure looks like it, but this one doesn't. So you can definitely tell the difference between the, the, um, the cover up netting in this one. And I'm not gonna take it off to look at the swimsuit. But look at the two bases. And this is one that I have that's got really good base coloring. So look at her face. And now I can put this one up really close. They're both very pretty, but I can tell, you, you can tell, I mean, if I saw all these dolls laid out on the table i can definitely and i'm sure if you're a, a ben barber collector for a while you can you can still pick out i don't know what it is about them but you can just pick out the the originals versus the reproductions but this is a really pretty reproduction i love the tnt reproduction i think it's a really really pretty doll some of them i don't think is as pretty as the tnt and i can't believe this opened um, yeah, that was a surprise for me. I have one more reproduction out of the box, TNT, and this is the blonde. And she is so pretty. I see a lot of people use her on eBay for their outfits because she is such a pretty doll. Now, her hair is a lighter blonde. I have a an original TNT. I'm just going to give a little quick comparison. Her hair, I haven't fixed her hair yet. Um, I actually got her for free at a yard sale. Um, some, my daughter was having a yard sale and some people gave her a bunch of Barbie stuff to sell they didn't want. And they're like, just do what you want to with it. We don't want it anymore. And I, I spotted this one and I told my daughter, I said, well, can I have this one? She said, sure. So <laughs> I scored one for free. That don't happen too often. 
but I knew what she was. My daughter don't really collect that much. And, um, she didn't care. So I got this reproduction. I haven't fixed her up yet. I need to fix her hair. It's down out of the ponytail. But look at these two. Kind of a bigger face maybe on the reproduction. Now this one has a little bit more faded face. But still a very pretty doll. And I like that she's got earrings. Loved earrings. I want I want earrings on my dolls. I gotta figure out a way to get some earrings on some of them. And I have done that on a couple that don't turn them green. So a very nice blonde reproduction TNT. Enchanted Evening. Who doesn't know the Enchanted Evening? She came out in 1995 and I think she was a, a big hit. Everybody was collecting these dolls and I actually got mine at a yard sale. A lady who had several, she had bought multiples of this doll and they were selling them for $5 a piece. So I paid $5. I think I bought, I bought several from her and resold them. Kept two for myself. I wanted to keep a brunette and a blonde. So there is, and I will show this in another video when I do some comparison of clothes. There is a big difference in the feel and the look. So this is an outfit that is worth purchasing as a vintage outfit because the original is so much prettier in person than this one is. So I love, I have the Enchanted Evening original and I just adore it. It is such a pretty outfit. So this is one I, I won't pass up because of the reproduction because I just, I love the other one. It, it's, it's just the materials, a different kind of material. It's, and it's just so much prettier. But I won't open these. I have a brunette and a blonde in a box. I'll keep them because I do have one already out of the box. Yeah, I picked her up for like a dollar. And she does have on an original 60s outfit. See, she still has on her little beaded necklace and her earrings. But these, look, if I can get these for, for cheap prices out of the box, they make great little models for some of my not such expensive models because some of the dolls can be expensive. So they make great models for some of your clothes because I have a lot more clothes than I have dolls and I can't buy every doll. I can't buy three and four and five hundred dollar dolls all the time and some of them are less than that. But um, I really like getting two and three dollar dolls if I can. So the reproduction ponytail is a great one and you can find those opened at flea markets and stuff a lot of times. Now, now sometimes people think it's the original and I'm like... I hate to break it to you, it's not an original ponytail, but it's from the 50s, like 15 to 5, and I'm like, no, it came out in 59, and I, I just don't even want to argue with them, I'm like, I'm like, I'm a collector, and I know better, and you know better, but I'm just not going to argue with them, if they think it is, and they think it's worth a ton of money, they can just keep it, but, um, um, yeah, she's a good doll, if you get her for for a few dollars out of the box. Now I have her, and I also have the reproduction one. Now this would have been uh, solo in the spotlight since she still has her original necklace on, which also came out about that same year, maybe a year earlier. I, I haven't checked into that. And um, I, I sold, I should have one around here somewhere, a solo in the spotlight. I don't know where it's at. I just have them packed up and here and there and everywhere. So I probably do have a solo in the spotlight. I just couldn't locate her, didn't locate her for this film, but anyway, these make these make good little models and you can lucky you can you can pick them up pretty cheap. So let's move on. 2007 American Girl Reproduction wearing Campus Sweetheart. And Campus Sweetheart is such a pretty outfit. And I wanted this one, and I tried to get that outfit for so long, and it always, I always lost it. And it usually had something wrong with it. There was a stain here, a nick there, you know. So I'm like, I'm going to get the reproduction one. And it's on an American Girl reproduction doll, which is a, a double whammy. It's a good, good doll. And now she is not nearly as nice to me. I don't like her as much, even though she's cute. Don't like her as much as I do the TNT reproductions. I don't think she's as pretty as as the TNTs, but 
but she's she's not she's all right and I like her and I'm not going to open her because I do have some nice American girls that are open and this is probably one of my favorites I have several American girls this is a, a longer hair American girl this is one of my favorite American girls there's like nothing wrong with her um her legs bend and I doubt the legs bend on on these dolls and the reason I think that if you have one let me know if you opened it up I, I don't have one with the that that hair like that with this outfit out of the box but I do have let me put this down for a second I do have a reproduction American Girl wearing Poodle Parade so I think it's probably pretty much the same doll and her legs don't bend where the American Girl was like one of the first dolls to have the bend legs um, but they didn't make them bend they were just cheap collectors edition they just wanted you to buy them as a keep them in the box and put them up I think that's was the reason that they used to, to appeal to a to an adult audience that that collected Barbies that couldn't afford the more expensive ones and like this outfit right here poodle parade this outfit has really went down in price in the, in the last few years I remember seeing this this outfit be really hard to find and really really expensive on eBay and I did finally get an original poodle parade I did um, I'll show it on a different video because I'm gonna do some comparisons of them but one of the most expensive things are the little details like these olive green shoes that go with this can get kind of pricey but you can get dress and coat fairly um, decent price and I had thought about selling mine because I had this one but then I'm like nah I'll just keep it and she has everything here she's got her purse she's got the trophy and she's got a little poodle parade card somewhere I think I misplaced it but I gotta find it and put it back in her little case so this is a American Girl reproduction not quite the quality of the old ones I don't think she's quite as pretty in my opinion she just looks not sure I mean she looks like her but you can tell it's not the original so let's move on 1997 Silk and Flame this is a bubble cut reproduction doll and this outfit is not that expensive if you want to buy the original the only problem with it is when you've got whites and reds mixed together like this a lot of times the red will fade onto the white or the white gets dirty and it's hard to get it clean without messing up the the red so I think I got this one also at a yard sale and it wasn't very expensive so I went ahead and got the silk and flame I think I gave like 10 bucks for her and oh uh, yeah I, I do have a bubble cut with this outfit on but the dress I, the coat's good but the dress doesn't look very well so I do need a new dress in that and maybe one day I'll get one but this is my last reproduction doll so we're gonna move on and we're going to open my final doll that I just got yay getting close to the end getting close to opening time and Skipper wants to go ahead and get her little two cents worth in okay skipper come here and let's see what else you wanted to say so i can finish up this video okay she likes to sit on my shoulder she thinks she's a parakeet i guess but um, what skipper what was it what was it that was so important that you just had to tell me go ahead okay <laughs> so skipper's asking when i do the fashion show for her well i'll just not do any Barbie <laughs> skipper no Barbies no she just wants fluff and scooter and that's it how about Ricky okay maybe a Ricky okay she said maybe Ricky but no Barbie she wants just to be the little dolls her little friends so 
I'll, I'll agree to that. No Barbies in this one. Just totally dedicated to sco Scooter, Skipper, and Fluff, which is a doll that I just got. So I can use her. Yes. Okay. So thanks, Skipper. Go on, go on back over there and sit down. Be a good girl. So I've moved into my kitchen because I need a little, I want to be able to spread out and have a little more room to open up my Color Magic Barbie. I do not have a Color Magic Barbie. That's why I'm going to open this Color Magic Barbie. I, I did have a Color Magic Barbie. You're not going to believe this. I found one at a flea market uh, around 2012, 13, somewhere in there for a dollar. And this was right before I started collecting hot and heavy and and I didn't know what she was and my cousin said, that's the ugliest doll I ever seen. So I sold it at a yard sale for a dollar. So <laughs> I got it for a dollar and I think I sold it for a dollar. But um what an idiot. But um she sure, wish I could go back and get that doll again. But I'm not paying the price of what color magics are going for now and they're up to like fifteen hundred dollars or more. So I got the Color Magic reproduction. So here's the box. And um, I'm gonna read this little bit right here because it, it, it is a good, a good little story about the Color Magic. In 66, Color Magic came on the scene, turned heads everywhere. Two versions of the doll were sold, each with hair that could magically turn shades with a special changing solution. Barbie doll's blonde hair transformed to scarlet flame in the midnight, which is what this one is in here, the midnight hair switched to a ruby red. The fun continued with her diamond print swimsuit, which could also change colors. Um, it took two years of research by chemical engineers to develop this incredible doll. Today, the col original color magic Barbie is still fondly remembered and highly sought after, and that's not a lie. That's so true. Now, this favorite vintage doll returns in a wonderful recreation, and I'm not going to read all of this, but um, she came out in 2003, and I don't know what how many of these they made. I'm sure I could look it up, but it was a limited production, and she comes, the box has the little design lights on her swimsuit. Now I read that these dolls, even though they were supposed to change back and forth, you know, between the original hair color, and this is the midnight one, um, they didn't. It, 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 the, the chemical research that they did, this is the box that's easy to open, so I can always put her back in there. And here she is, and I've got to And here she is, out of the box. Oh, got to do a little bit of work to get these little plastic things out of her hair. And her legs do not bend. I'm not surprised at that. But she does have a little tag. And I love her black hair. And she's really, really, she is really pretty. I'm, I'm happy. I'm really, really well pleased. Now, she already has some rubber bands holding her shoes on. So, I don't know if I want to replace these or not. They're kind of stuck to her foot. So, this is her. And I don't think I'm going to take all this other little stuff out. I'm probably just going to store her back in this box. Don't know. But here's her outfit. Oh, she'll be really cute with this outfit on. So, I probably will take this outfit out too eventually and put it on her. And my color magic out of the box. I think she's great. I love the little tie. So it's just like a little ribbon that's tied around her waist. And happy with this one. So thanks for watching. Happy Barbie hunting.